वेलकम बैक एलियंस दिस नवीन रेडी फ्रॉम तलिस कॉल लर्निंग एंड ना विल टॉक अबाउट फैक्ट्री डिजाइन पैटर्न सो फैक्ट्री डिजाइन पैटर्न बिलोंग्स टू क्रिएशनल डिजाइन पैटर्न विच इज विच बिलोंग्स टू डिजाइन पैटर्न इन जावा सो इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल विच इज रिलेटेड टू ओर्स एंड फोन सो ना लेट्स इमेजिन सो लेट्स यू वॉन्ट एन ओर्स इन योर फोन सो डिपेंड अपॉन योर फोन यूल बीविंग डिफरेंट ओर्स राइट सो लेट्स यू आर यूजिंग Apple phone, you'll be having iOS. If you're using Samsung phone or HTC phone, you'll be having Android. If you're using a Nokia phone, you'll be having Windows OS, right? So we have different different phones and we have different different OS, right? So there are some people who know about the OS, and then there are some people they don't know about OS. They they are not concerned about OS. What they want is a phone, right? So there are people who use Lumia. For them, doesn't matter which OS they're working on. They want they want a uh, they want a phone to use. Then there are iPhone people. That it doesn't matter which uh, iOS they which OS they use. They want an phone, right? So we, some people are not concerned about the OS. They are only concerned about the phone, right? So now let's say you want an OS in your phone. So you are building a new phone by yourself. Let's say you are building a Raspberry Pi Raspberry Pi phone, and you want an OS in that. Now depend upon which what type of OS you want to go for. Maybe you want a open source OS, you will be going for Android. If you want a closed source OS, you will be going for iOS. And if you want some weird OS, you will be going for Windows, right? So we have depend upon your requirement, you will be having different different types of OS, right? So let's say you you have a main method, and in that main method you you want an object of OS now. So you will be having an interface which is OS, and this OS interface will be implemented by Uh, Android OS, iOS, and Windows OS. So this, all these classes implements uh, OS there. Now, so if you want to create object of any of this, you just have to mention I want open source OS. So automatically, it will give you the object of Android phone, Android OS. If you want a OS which is closed source, you will get automatically you will get object of iOS. Right. So somebody else is providing you that object, and that somebody else is your factory. Okay. Now, because when you talk about software development or software development life cycle or software engineering, uh, whenever you build a project, so you have to work with different modules, right? And all these modules should have low coupling and high cohesion. So, you, if you want to achieve this low coupling, we we use something called as factory here. So, instead of you creating this object, ask someone else to create you this object. So, maybe in future you'll be you'll be having a new OS. So let's say you have a OS, maybe I don't know, maybe Symbian. It's an old OS, right? Let's say you have Symbian one more. So you have one more class there. So as a normal user, you are not concerned about which OS you want. You just say, "I want old OS." They will give you an object of Symbian. You're getting a point. So maybe in future, if that Symbian is replaced by BlackBerry OS, you don't know any, about anything, right? You just you just have to specify old OS. Automatically, you will get BlackBerry object. Who is giving those objects? It is your Factory and how to implement all these things that we'll see in the practical session.